Afternoon everyone of tonight. We're getting down into the 40s again, as you can see right about there, but not as uh, chilly as it was this morning. I mean, it was 40, a couple of 39s are possible around there. And the reason is the south wind is already turned around and it's going to be bringing in that Gulf air into our region. Tomorrow still in the upper 60s, getting to almost 70 degrees. Not a bad looking Wednesday because I know what happens tomorrow, Paul. It's, it's a Valentine's dinner. Oh yeah, you got to take your Valentine out for dinner. So it's going to be a pretty good evening. Uh, no major wind problems, no major freezing, you know, and make sure your flowers are ready to go. Okay. All right. Well, what we're looking at is the winds now that have turned around to the southeast, and that's going to make a difference in our temperature and also in the amount of moisture that we have over the region. Now I'm going to the bigger picture of Texas, and you can see pretty much the state had a sunny day, except for deep south Texas. Now when I show you the big picture, you can see what's going on. We have the subtropical jet. You call it the I don't know, the atmospheric river or whatever you want to call it. Uh, it was aimed at California. That's when they got the big rain. Well, it's not quite as focused in intensity, but it is bringing a stream of moisture up into deep south Texas, and that is going to spread northward. Then it's going to run into a cold front, so all of a sudden we've got a pretty good shot at rain just in a couple of days from now. Here is the uh, future tracker. There are the winds coming back in off the Gulf Coast. Then you see the clouds get thicker and thicker. Then you see this, the rain start down south and then cross over into deep south Texas. And by the time we get to Thursday and Friday, you can see how the shower activity rolls in. Now, this is a kind of a weird system because it looks like the valley is going to get heavier rain than we do because it's going to be sort of deep south Texas and the immediate coastline as it rolls through the region. And so the valley probably will see two to four inches of rain out of this. Now, of course, they need the rain just like we do, but it's not all at one time is the problem. Uh, and here's Future Tracker. So we asked Future Tracker how much rain all the way through Sunday. Mm -hmm. So here we are. In Victoria, we're looking at over an inch. That's pretty substantial. And if you go down to a ranch, southwest Texas, or I call it ranch country, uh, down there toward uh, Falfurious and, and those regions, they're going to be looking at possibly two to three inches. Uh, and this is all be gonna, between Thursday night, Friday, into Saturday morning. So it's a big flow of moisture coming up from the south because our high pressure, which gave us a beautiful day today, is going to slide east. This frontal system is going to be dropping southward. It does have some cold air in it, but the two are going to collide together and force that uh, rain activity around for us on Friday. Now, then it blows through by the time we get to Saturday, so we do have a cooler, sunny-looking weekend, so no major problems there. So tomorrow will be increasing cloud cover, and by the end of the day on, thir on Wednesday, you will see overcast skies. Temperatures, however, won't be too bad and the winds won't be bad at all. Looking at partly cloudy and then cloudy by the end of the day in Cuero, getting up to about a 67 and then here's your seven days. So it's uh, have fun on, on Valentine's Day. Thursday, the clouds roll in a few sprinkles, but it's Friday right there when the front comes in late at night and then Saturday it clears up. Look at the temperature dropping from 68 or 50, in the 70s, dropping down into the 50s for a couple of days. So Saturday and Sunday of this coming weekend are going to be rather chilly once all that rain passes through. That is your seven day forecast reminding everybody we do have a